bailing some hay and stacking it all up. Can't wait for the sun to go down, rolling the town. Shine the old truck up, swing by the quick stop, grab a couple rocky tops, then ease on out your way to your place around eight o'clock. Hey guys, it's Bill with Team Carolina Whitetails. It's mid-May and turkey season's over, so guess what? It's time to start focusing on deer season. We've got some mineral blocks that we're going to put out today, and we're going to put out some trail cameras and uh, start checking our herd and see what kind of bone that we're growing this year. Uh, we're going to be spraying down with our Bucks and Beards cedar scent. I like to use cedar this time of year. Uh, Bucks and Beards has uh, uh, a lot of different types of scents for whatever works in your area, pine, white oak, uh, acorn, cover scents, apple, uh, persimmon. Uh, they've just got an endless supply. It's a great product. Strongly recommend that you check them out. Um, we've got a ground blind we're going to go pick up today and just a lot of odds and ends. It's a, just a great time to be in the woods. It's, it's not real hot yet here in South Carolina, so it's probably 75 degrees today. So. Uh, beautiful day to be out. We're just going to do a little riding around and uh, kind of take an inventory of some things that we need to do and start getting some cameras out. So y'all come with us. Okay guys, let me show you what we got going on here. I'm at an old mineral site. This mineral site's been here for about two years. I just refresh it every spring. You can tell that they've been working it real well. Um, already got a dug hole in it, a, a hole dug in it. There's water in it, paw prints in it. So we're gonna use about half of this block. I don't use a whole block. Some people put a whole block out. I can get two sites out of a 50 pound mineral block. The reason I do that once all the minerals get into dirt and stuff, they, you know, once they find it, they'll start digging up that dirt, you know, um, and they still get the minerals that they need out of it. So, you know, one of these mineral blocks is about six bucks and uh, I can get two sites out of it. So it works well for me. I know a lot of people use granular and some other stuff. It's just what I've always used. Um, Bucks and Beards has got a real good uh, mineral on the market I'm, I'm probably gonna try that this year i need to order some but uh for right now kind of in a time crunch so i'm gonna go ahead and get these out today and then we'll probably order some of the bucks and beard stuff a little bit later let me show you what the mineral site looks like you see they've been they've been digging in it 
you see some paw prints in it. It's got uh, water in it. I got a pretty good hole dug there, so we're gonna go ahead and refresh that. And uh, see if we can uh, get them back active on it. I'll show you how I do it. I just take a hammer. See, we got we got a half a block left, and uh, that'll that'll more than do a second sight. I'm just gonna kind of spread this around a little bit. You don't need to really bust it up anymore. The deer and the uh, and the rain will do the rest of it. Take that little tag out of it, and we're good to go. Now we're gonna go ahead and uh, gonna go ahead and set up our trail camera. I like to put mine about 15 to 18 feet from uh, from the area where I'm trying to catch my pictures. I like to carry if I've got if I've got four trail cameras I like to have eight SD cards um, so whenever I come check my camera I can just switch out the cards I don't have to worry about you know looking at the pictures on a camera or a viewer or whatever in the field I can get in and get out pretty quick so I have a lot of SD cards I just make sure for every camera I've got I have two cards it just makes sense Okay, we've got that one set. Uh, we've got a bunch more to put out. So uh, listen, y'all get your minerals in the woods and uh, good luck this year. Time to get out and start thinking about deer season. Red light's on.